Hey y'all and welcome back to the homestead. My name is Kirsty. It is officially fall and to me that means that it is definitely time to bring out my crock pot and make all of the yummy cozy recipes. So that is exactly what we are doing today. Today we are making two, that's right, two cozy fall crock pot soup recipes. I know that lately I've just been sharing one recipe and then taking you along around the homestead, but y'all, the homestead has been kind of quiet this week, you know, knock on wood, but everyone has been happy, healthy, everything's good. Um, a lot of our projects are on hold just for a little bit, so I thought this would be the perfect time to make two recipes. This first soup recipe, we're making a chicken tortilla soup. Now, my mother-in-law has an amazing taco soup recipe where she uses ground beef, and I almost thought about doing that this week, but I saw this chicken tortilla soup on Pinterest, and it just looked so delicious, and I don't think I've actually ever made that before, so I wanted to try my hand at it. I am going to make it just a little bit different. I'm using all of the same ingredients, but I'm going to do it a little bit different. The recipe calls to first place your raw chicken in the bottom of your crock pot. Me and my husband Tyler are not the biggest fans of the way chicken tastes when it's like boiled or cooked in a crock pot. So I'm going to wait on that. I actually already have some pre-cooked chicken that we'll just add into the soup when we get closer to time to eat. Let's assemble our soup now. So if you were gonna cook your chicken in the crock pot, you would go ahead and add that in now to the bottom of your crock pot. I'm gonna add in one can of black beans. These have been drained and rinsed. Two cans of Rotel. Now the original recipe did say that you don't wanna drain these, but you can also just use one can of Rotel and one can of diced tomatoes if you don't like a lot of spice. I think it's gonna be really good with the two cans of Rotel, so that's what I'm gonna do. One can of drained yellow corn. We needed some minced garlic. I did not measure that. I just measured it with what I thought we would enjoy. <laughs> it also said to have one fourth of a cup of cilantro. I actually think this might be more than that, but I'm okay with it because I really love the flavor of cilantro. You need about a cup of diced white onion, four cups of chicken broth. This is what's gonna make it so soupy. Add in some black pepper. And then lastly, we'll add in this seasoning packet of taco seasoning, which is gonna give it that ultimate taco flavor. It's gonna be so good. I like the Great Value taco seasoning. Um, I think that's fine. If you have a different brand that you like, or maybe if you make your own, that would be so good in this soup. We'll go ahead and give this a stir. That way we can get all of those ingredients combined and make sure that seasoning is well combined as well. And then I'll put the lid on here and we'll let it cook for about four hours on high. Or you could do eight hours on low. Now when I have about maybe like 45 minutes to 30 minutes left on this soup, that's when I'll go ahead and add in my pre-cooked chicken. It has been probably about three and a half hours. So since I'm putting in already cooked chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in now. <laughs> Tyler's helping me. And now, but if you were cooking your chicken in the soup, now would probably be a really good time to go ahead and take it out and shred it up and put it back in here. 
Um, I wanted to go ahead and get mine in at least 30 minutes before. So that way, since our chicken was already pre-cooked, it would have plenty of time to soak up some of this yummy flavor. So Tyler is actually not the biggest fan of soups per se. Um, he always says they taste delicious, but he doesn't always feel full after he eats it. So I thought it would be really fun to make like little side dishes to go along with each soup. And I thought since this was a chicken tortilla, kind of like a Mexican style soup, I would just whip up some cheese quesadillas. Y'all, this soup recipe is absolutely amazing. The flavors are on point. I'm telling you, this is so good. If you love taco soup, you're going to love this recipe as well. And I wanted to tell you, you know how I put in the two cans of Rotel instead of one can of Rotel and one can of diced tomatoes? Well, in my opinion, the two cans of Rotel did not make this spicy. So if you're wanting to make this recipe and you're trying to just use what's in your pantry and you don't have any canned diced tomatoes, but you do have Rotel, go ahead and use it. It is perfect. So who is ready for crock pot soup number two? <laughs> I know I am. So we're going to make an Italian tortellini soup. I'm really excited for this one. I know I say that all the time, but I really am excited to make these new recipes. Now, I've had tortellini before. Uh, I think I've just had it with like some pasta sauce and it was really good. So I'm excited to try it in like a soup form. I think it's gonna be great. Now, to get this recipe started, we actually need to brown up some Italian sausage over on the stovetop. With our sausage, we need to add in some onion. And so I actually have this half an onion left over from yesterday's recipe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chop this up really fine and then we'll add it in with our sausage. With our Italian sausage and onions pretty much done, I'm gonna add in a big spoonful of minced garlic. And then we also wanna add in just a little bit of some Italian seasoning. To the bottom of the crock pot, I'm gonna add in that sausage, onion, and garlic. You can drain your grease uh, if you have too much. Mine didn't create very much, so I'm just gonna leave it in there for some flavor. I'm adding in this really large can of Italian style diced tomatoes, and I'm not draining that. I thought getting the Italian style would add so much flavor. And then this is pretty heavy, but we're adding in seven cups of chicken broth. Okay, and that's it for right now. Place our lid on top. Go ahead and get our crock pot turned on. I'm cooking mine on low today. So I'm gonna cook it on low for about seven to eight hours. If you're in more of a time crunch, you can cook it on high for about four to five hours. Now we do have more ingredients that are gonna go in this, but they're just gonna go in at a later time. We have about an hour and a half left on this soup. 
and it is smelling so good. That Italian sausage, oh, it smells so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a bag of cheese tortellini. Mine are frozen. That's why I wanna go ahead and add it in now. And then in about one hour, so about 30 minutes before we're gonna be ready to actually eat supper, I will add in the rest of the ingredients. We finally get to add in our last ingredients. I'm so excited. That means it is almost dinner time. So first I'm gonna add in about one cup of heavy whipping cream. That's gonna make it nice and creamy. Add in some grated Parmesan cheese. I don't have a ton. I should have got more at the store, but I forgot. <laughs> I want to go ahead and give that a stir before we put in the last ingredient. We did give this a taste. Um, Tyler, when he got home, we just kind of tasted the broth and one of the noodles or the tortellini, and it has such good flavor. I'm so excited to get all this put together. Okay, so that looks good. Now we get to add in one bag of baby spinach. It says to add in four cups, and according to the back of this bag, this is about four cups of spinach. And as we all know, this will wilt down to nearly nothing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my spoon, kinda press some of it down, so that way we can at least get our lid on. And then I'm gonna give this maybe 15 minutes or so and we'll be ready to eat. If y'all remember from last night, I've been making some side dishes to go along with the soup. So tonight I'm just gonna make some simple grilled cheeses. Y'all, this recipe is top notch. I mean, it is so good. The flavors of this are on point. I mean, it's so, I mean, it's coziness in a bowl. <laughs> it's so good. Like the heavy cream gives it that perfect amount of creaminess. The spinach gives it that freshness. Um, I love Italian sausage. We always get the sweet, but if you wanted to have this like have a little bit of heat to it, you could use like a hot sausage. I think that would actually be really good. And of course the tortellini, I, like I said, I had never had it in a soup form like this, but it is so good. Y'all, this one is definitely a winner. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me this week making these delicious crock pot soup recipes. They were both delicious. I highly recommend both of them. If you do give these a try, make sure you leave me a comment down below and let me know how you like it or you can tag me over on Instagram. I would love to see y'all trying out my recipes. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new and I will see y'all next week. Bye.